both of you guys, what was the experience like your first game in Mount Kill House? Oh, it was good. Just uh, that, like last year, that would have been like a game we was playing against Tennessee or some some big time team, and they came out for an exhibition. So it was pretty good. So it felt good out there. Yeah, uh, felt great. Uh, I went to Northern Illinois, so we never had a crowd like that or a fan base like that. So definitely a blessing. Uh, it was definitely fun out there. Can we have microphones? David, for you, getting the chance to start, what's yeah. different for you when you when you start a game versus when you're coming off the bench? Um, nothing. Uh, I think the only difference is, is like, I think you have an advantage coming off the bench just because you get to see the flow of the game. You kind of get to see different things. So I think either or, but I think our roles and we have such a great team that it really doesn't matter who's going to start, who's going to play, or who's going to come off the bench. Like. Zeke didn't start tonight, he had 16 points. <laughs> like, it doesn't matter. One game he's going to start, they might have a bigger guard. There's somebody that they want Zeke to match up with, he's going to start, got to come off and provide the same thing he did. So it really doesn't matter for us. And for you, just what was, what was working for you offensively? Um, moving out the ball and also on the defensive end, trying to cause havoc, get them out their offense, and then obviously that leads to transition. And when you're playing with KJ and Juan, they make it very easy for you to play. So as long as you pressure the ball, make it easy for them to get in the lanes, we get the rebounds and we get to be in transition, I think we all feel like we're at our best when we do that. So that was probably the way. Zeke, you had a good showing in the second half. Just what do you think was working well for you then? And how'd you kind of find a rhythm? Um, yeah, I think it was, you know, mainly uh, our guards getting downhill and, and finding me in my open spots. And then obviously KJ being able to play downhill off the pick and roll. So, um, you know, props to my teammates for, you know, hitting me on the, on the short rolls and, and the, finding me on the perimeter to be able to knock down open shots. David, is it fair to say you just kind of let it? Let it go out there and play free. Yeah. It doesn't really seem like anything bothers you. It seems like you're just kind of, let's go. I'm ready to play. Yeah, I think uh, credit to the team. They give me that confidence, tell me, like, let it go. Like, shoot the ball, guard guard hard, play hard. And, like, we're going to live with the result and whatever it is. So I feel so confident playing with them. Obviously, these are the best players I ever played with in my life. So um, definitely, it's like definitely a relief off my shoulders. So I know I could just plug right in and play my role. Have you always played like that? Has that been kind of your MO? Um, for the most part, just knowing we understand that basketball is our outlet. So this is where we want to come and let our hair down and really be ourselves and let loose. So definitely. But uh, I can't say I've always been like that. You know, you go through tough times. So sure. sometimes it's harder than others. But I definitely try to, though. And, and, and did you know that would be kind of your role here? Like. Just come um, in and give energy and go crazy and don't worry about too much. Yeah, I, mean, I didn't. I didn't really know what my role was. Obviously, coming so late, I really also didn't care what my role was. I just wanted to be on the court and however that looks. So, if that means I shoot one shot or I shoot ten, I really don't care as long as I'm playing. So, if I gotta guard the best guards or whatever to do to get on the court, that's what I'm gonna do. So, I don't really care. As you guys are all kind of newcomers, I, th I think Coach Self talked about that transition process of becoming what he wants to see out of a Jayhawk. And, and he talked about uh, AJ trying to get to be more aggressive. Do you guys have any advice for him? And how does it help with you uh, you guys in the process of becoming uh, more familiar and more comfortable out there? Uh, AJ is a great player. Um, I would just say he needs to keep doing what he did and uh, attack the rim. Uh, he can shoot the ball. He can do everything on the court. So. I wouldn't really like read too much into like how he's playing right now or how he played or anything. Um, he's a great player. We all know that. Hey, Ryan, I'm just curious how you're feeling health-wise. It looked like he might have tweaked something late. I'm not sure, but just how are you feeling ahead of the start of the season? Oh, no, I was just cramping. It was hot in there. Uh, <laughs> I was just cramping. Uh, yeah, my hip feel good. feel pretty healthy. Uh, shout out to like all the training staff that, that got me ready because – Normally when I have this injury, it takes me a little bit longer to get back, but they were able to help me get out there um, a little bit earlier than I thought. So um, shout out to them. But yeah, it was just how I was cramping. On, on that note, Riley, just walk us through what's the last week been like for you since you suffered the, the hip flexor injury? Uh, I've had it three times before, so it wasn't really anything new. I just um, had to like be in the training room a lot more. Uh, I was really like upset. Uh, I was trying to play against Arkansas. Um, but 
couldn't couldn't go that night. So I was just really trying to do everything I could to make sure I got like a game in before real game starts. So like I said before, shout out to like Chad and all them and Emily and all them for helping me uh, get right early. And in terms of just your performance tonight, do you feel like you showcased what people can expect going forward? Yeah, 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 most definitely. Um, Coach Self, he told me before the game, just let it fly. And um, he really didn't have to tell me that too many times. I just, that's, that's kind of what like I did my whole college career. So just coming here doing the same thing and also getting better at other things. Um, yeah, just pretty much, yeah, that's pretty much, I would say, what you could kind of expect. David, did you feel good about getting off to such a good start after having no buckets at Arkansas? <laughs> did you even think about Arkansas? Uh, I thought about Arkansas just watching the film, like seeing – I liked all my shots. I like how they felt. So the fact that they didn't go in, I think uh made me feel good, get, some, get a game like that out the way. Um, I think the only problem with Arkansas, obviously, is that we wanted to win. We wanted to compete better. But bumps in the road come, so making shots, it, it felt good. But miss or make, as long as they're good shots, I really don't care. Zeke, what did you think of the team's three-point shooting? Again, after Arkansas, you guys were so hot tonight. Yeah, I mean, we obviously got our shots up. We took 33 of them, so that's a great number for us considering, you know, we have a fair amount of shooters out there on the floor at the same time. But, um, you know, I like the shots that we took tonight, especially from, you know, these two guys. They, the shot selection wasn't bad. I think that's what I liked the most about it. Our guards were able, to, were able to get downhill and create, you know, open shots for other guys on the perimeter. Sean. And David, obviously things start for real on Monday. Where do you feel like this team is at heading into the regular season? <clears throat> I think we have a great team. Like I said, the best team I've ever been on. So I think for us it's about locking in on defense. But I think we're in a good I think we're in a good space right now. I think we're getting better every day. I think where our practices are getting I felt like they were very intense when I got here, and they're even getting more intense. So I think that's just going to help us, and we compete against each other. Like I said, if it's the best team I've been on, and we competing heavily every day, I think we got a great shot against anybody. So I, th I feel great about where we are, but I also just got here, so I don't know how we're going to look or how it looks. You know what I'm saying? So I feel good, though. Zeke, when's the last time you played in here, a game? Ooh, that's a good question. I want to say... Well, it was my junior year, so December of 2020. Or my senior year. Or no, yeah, junior year, December of 2020. It was free state. Against free state, yep. You've been waiting for this then, obviously, and maybe didn't know it was going to come. What we got to ask you what this was like for you tonight. Yeah, I mean, it meant the world to me just to be out there and have this uniform on, wear it across my chest, and obviously have my family in the, in the audience. Um, I mean, it means a lot. It's a blessing that I even have the opportunity to be here. You know, not a lot of kids get this chance, so... I think my only job now is to go out there and take advantage of it. How many people here tonight for you? Estimate about 15, 16. Okay. And did you wake up this morning knowing, hey, this is actually happening? Did it feel real when you – when you, I mean, you've practiced in here now. You've played. You've been a part of this. But this was different, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah most definitely. Um, I think I just I, – honestly, I woke up this morning just thinking it's another game. Um, you know, I, I go out there and try to hoop. I don't worry about, you know, who's in the crowd, none of that stuff. So – um, but you know, just when I see them in there, when I see them in there, it's definitely it spikes something in me. But um, you know, I don't wake up, you know, just thinking, oh, who am I going to play good for today? But yeah, Diggy, there was a play where you made a pass to Zeke in the corner, and I think you were celebrating even before he took the shot. Just I don't know how do you know he was going to make it, and what was so cool about that play for you? Uh, every, every, yeah, that's how I, tell <laughs> okay. you that. I try to tell you that. Come on, bro. Every, you know we know that every cash, time bro. like they shoot, I feel like they're going to make it. Like. <laughs> I'm telling you, practice, I feel like every time it go up, like, it's the first time i actually been on a team where I felt like like every time they shoot, I feel like it's going to go in. So, And I know how the floor of the game was. He just hit one before that, and I'm like, all right, he's seen one going, it's over. Like, I, I felt good about it. All right, fellas, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you.